Hello lovely hearts. Today we are going to talk about expectations of our partner and how we can work with our own expectations in an empowered way instead of coming down and going down the low vibe spiral, which is an interesting thing because many of us have not been taught how to do the high vibe way. So what I want to talk to you all about today is my path and this is the path of learning to actually realize our husband or our partner's path is separate to our path. We come together because we want to, because we do amazing things together, but it's not our place to come onto our partner's path. And so that is a huge lesson in love and trust and to be able to hold them in our heart space that I believe you, I know you are wise enough to go through your own lessons, your own experiences and to come around to the path that you're supposed to be on. You are on a path going to your highest potential. Um, so am I. And so I'm just going to trust that, of course, you're going to get there like I am getting there. And so this is a big one for us to realize is some of us women who are awakened and empowered and want to go out there, we all want to help people. And so sometimes we feel and our monkey mind, our ego self comes in and feels like, well, we need to go and help our partner. They're not doing it quick enough like us. So this is the ultimate game in actually going backwards and realizing our only empowered action that we can take is to visualize our partner in their highest regards um, at all times. And so once we do that and we just cast that heart space out there for them, then they can go along and make their own learnings. And as I often say, we are the seed planters as their women, but most likely um, pretty much 100% they will have to go out and find someone else to tell them that thing for them to have the turnaround. So this is the, the interesting part is that way back for my husband, he said he wanted to be a gamer and stay at home playing Xbox all day while I went out and earned the money. And so my reaction was, oh, and I was still going around the merry-go-round then at least, but I did start to see that what he was saying, it wasn't true because I knew he's got so much ambition in him that give him a week to maximum playing Xbox and he would be thinking about his next entrepreneurial idea. He had just gotten himself into a rut at that point where he couldn't see, oh yeah, that's my aim is to be ambitious and to go back to my entrepreneurial self, which he had been when I met him. And so when I realized, oh my gosh, you know, he wants to be a gamer, I started to realize talking logically to myself, well, that's not going to happen. That is a dead end. He's going to go so far and then he's going to come away from that. So I call bullshit on that. And so that helped me not to freak out and to actually come back to, okay, right, hold him in my heart space. I'm going to visualize for him, him in his best regards, you know, doing something amazing. And so that's basically where I should have stopped on taking action, but I didn't. I had to go around the merry-go-round to see. So one day he came home from yoga and said, I've had an epiphany. I want to start a health food shop. And I was like, yeah, excellent. Because of course I was like, wow, this is the, the right direction. So I got myself to involved thinking, well, I know this and I better start to help you. And I basically left my soul's work that I'd already started with my business and um, for a period decided to get on board with him and try and help him out. And I'll do different things, you know, in preparing this and give him my ideas and feedback but basically that was me hiding behind his soul work instead of actually getting on with my own and trusting that he was going to have his lessons. So the health food shop never got off the ground. That was just the leap pad. So obviously, you know, again, I could have gotten all worried when it didn't go through, but I knew it had started something. So again, it was that trust and that faith. That, okay. We're on the path. It's okay. And then he even went off to study that didn't work. And then finally, he's leaped on to starting his own business, um, selling CrossFit gear with his ultimate dream of starting a CrossFit box, a CrossFit studio. And so since I've come around the merry-go-round, gone up and up and up and up, I've started to realize there is no place for me in his path apart from planting seeds. You can plant seeds with love, not in a I know best for you way, but in a I see you. So Sometimes it's great having someone looking from the outside in and seeing, you know, us in our glory. And so when we first met, he was very ambitious, but he's also very good at pulling people together in a community. So I kept 
reminding him, you know, when I saw you, you know, that was something that you were really amazing at. And so that has been some fuel for him to go in that direction with his business in certain ways. But it certainly wasn't me saying you should do something with it or this is how you should do it. The hows are nothing to do with us. Um, and he's had his learnings. It's been great. And, you know, again, I've had my learnings in backing right off. He's had his learnings in different things in all this path as well. And he would not have been able to get to where he was if I had kept on stepping in. There would have been too much resistance there. I had to get out of the way so he could go forth and learn himself. And so now we've gotten to this point where it's amazing because I trust him, you know, going forth with whatever he's doing, he's going to learn his lessons. We're learning both of our lessons much quicker because we've, you know, gone round and round with our businesses. Um, and so since seeing these miracles of him turning around, I've started being able to back off. So some more miracles that I have seen is that at one point, I was just like, oh, you know, I wonder how he's going to, you know, get onto his next path after he had stopped studying. and then. And I'd, you know, been playing the seeds about being healthy and all these different things. And then one day he found a podcast on CrossFit um, with this really ambitious guy out there ready to go and, you know, change the world. And it was quite exciting because I had been saying, you should listen to a podcast for quite a while because he'd been driving around in his job. But again, the planting the seed was my position. He had to hear it from someone else. And so once he heard this podcast, he got an inspired he got inspired to go and get some books and start reading. And he has never been a reader in his words. And it was like, oh my gosh, he's actually, you know, ordering books in, just devouring them, which was changing him in his own self. And I could see it had nothing to do with me. It was his path. And so since then, it's gone on and on. The interesting thing is, um, just not that long ago, he had a bit of a lull where he started going back to Netflix and not reading. And I was like, oh and again you can start to go oh are they going to do it you know what are they going to do now but I've gone around the merry-go-round enough times to know no the more I back out the more he will go forth I've got maybe one or maybe two chances to plant a seed oh no you haven't been reading lately that's it with heart and not with charge and so like I was thinking well we're going on holiday soon he's probably going to get more high vibes something will happen and you'll get back onto his books Next thing, he comes home, oh, I found this new podcast. It's amazing. I think I'm going to get um, some more books and more books have arrived. And so I've gone, huh, okay, cool. And so these scenarios, the more we allow it to happen with our partner, the more you just start getting momentum to go, it's got nothing to do with me. I really need to let go. And part of our um, wanting to get on their path really is us women is to go, well, what would I do if I wasn't worried about them? And if I didn't have wor my worries about my children, what would I do? And this is the point is that we're supposed to come back to, ah, like, what am I going to do with myself? Ah, I've got some soul work here to do, um, which is an exciting thing. And for us all, it's very different. It might just be little pieces here and there. It might be just like, you know what, my soul really likes gardening. I'm just going to spend my time now getting more into the garden. I've always wanted to do that. It doesn't have to be a certain business path or anything huge, but without having the worries, then we all of a sudden create time for ourselves, and that allows us to get back to life balance and raise our own vibrations, which is a cool thing too. And that's where it rubs off on the whole family because then the children see us all happier. I'm taking care of myself. He's doing his own thing. Life is flowing more because we're not having these glitches where we're all getting in each other's way energetically. So I hope that has helped you to see that there is light for your partner and the, the dead end is when we start to jump in on their path and turn the other way and to start to hold their space, hold space for them, practice being in your heart and visualizing them in their highest regards. It might not have much detail to it, it might just be like, I can see them, there's this ambitious energy or there's this family centered energy, you know, whatever you feel like they're missing see that energy around them and allow the universe to work out the details because then you get the miracles when you haven't planned the whole thing on how it's going to happen. And that's the fun in it. When you have your husband or partner come home and say, I'm going to go healthy or I'm going to do this. And you go, Oh my gosh. So I hope that's helped you today. Please like, and subscribe. I have more videos on my channel. There's an, um, another few around partners. There's also more around the new children types. There's also around food, food intolerances, fussy eating, um, 
behavior, emotional intelligence, you name it. Um, you can also just search on YouTube if you need to find it. I always have my Harmonious Partners course running as well. If not, there's a notification list, list there so you can find out about the next round. So if this sounds like something that's grabbed you and you go, I can see potential in this for me and my partner, even if it's your higher self saying it, get into it. Um, you can either sign up at the link below or put your name on the notification um, list at the link below. And I can't wait to help you and empower you. It's an exciting um, an empowering course in the safe and supportive place that I've created online, the New Children Healing Sanctuary. There's a lot more information at the webpage, so you can check it out. Otherwise, have a great day. Bye.